Um, you know, Loyola, you know, they, uh, um, they uh, of course, proved themselves to be the best team. Uh, they, had a, they had a really good run through the league. Uh, and uh, so they go in, obviously, as the favorite, and, and they should. Uh, not only are they playing the best, but, but I do think that they've got the best team in, in, in the league this year. Uh, and after that, <clears throat> and even Loyola's games, you know, a lot of their games were close. Uh, but after that, you've got a lot of close games. Uh, and all the way through, I think, two through ten, there were, there were close games up and down the lineup. Uh, so um, certainly, certainly two through ten. Um, and maybe some ways because Loyola's, you know, did play in a lot of close games. Um, it wasn't like they were beating everybody by 25 every night. Um, that that uh, you know one through ten is is closer than maybe what it's been in the past. But I still I still think you got a favorite in Loyola, um, and that they're um, they've got the the upper hand going in. <clears throat> What's Evansville look like? Uh, you, you certainly saw that. Yeah. Well, they, uh, uh, that's the healthiest that they have been uh, with, with Smith and with uh, Gibson. Um, I don't know how healthy they are, but, but they, played, you know, they, they played a bunch of minutes the other night. And, um, so to have, just to have their full roster, they haven't had that much this year. You know, we, kept, you know, we kept looking back at box scores and at, you know, okay, we've got to find some other games when both of those guys were healthy and both those guys were playing and they had their whole team. They didn't have it much this year. Uh, and you know, at, at their place, uh, we weren't able to uh, to take care of that one. Uh, here, we played well and had a nice lead, but that got down to a one or two possession game late, uh, and that's without Smith in both of those games. I think Gibson played maybe a little bit in one of the two, but um, so they're they're uh, they're obviously different. Uh, those are two of their uh, you know two of their four best players probably. Um, they're for sure two of their top five guys, and so when you've got. Not only do you add and put uh, two of your better players on the floor, but that also changes some of the responsibilities for the other guys. You know, the other guys now have got some more help. So, it, and Taylor doesn't need any help. You know, as he, as we saw here, we guarded him great, and he kept making shots. We crowded him, and he drove it past us and made some plays in the lane. Uh, so a guy like that doesn't need a bunch of help around him, but he gets it with Smith and with Gibson being healthy. So. Um, and you could go down the line. You know, Simmons um, is going to going to play, going to be a better player because Gibson and Smith are on the floor. You know, those guys are. Gibson's a senior. Uh, Smith is one of the better players in the league. Even you know, he, I know he didn't have, uh, wasn't able to play a lot because of the injury. But but he is a really good player. So uh, you get your two uh, two of your better guys on the floor. Uh, but then that has such an impact on the other players and uh, and what they're able to do. They they look great against Southern. Uh, defensively, they're better. You know, the, both those guys are high level defenders. So, um, yeah, it's a different team that we're going to see on uh, on Thursday. <clears throat> First time you've taken a team that had to play on Thursday. Uh, How do you approach it? Yeah, the, the same way. You know, you just move every, just move it all up a day. You know, everything else is going to be the same. You know, we've got, uh, uh, instead of tipping it off at, you know, in whichever one of those quarterfinal games on Friday to, to start it, Gary, it's, uh, you know, we start at 6 o'clock on Thursday. So we, we just moved everything up in terms of when we travel and, and our, our workouts while we're down there. Um, you know, what we're doing today, uh, yeah, just had to move it up a day. No. But, but no other, you know, no other changes. <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, uh, obviously with you know something that's never been done that uh, um, that would um, the facts would tell you it must be difficult if uh, if it hasn't ever been done. So uh, you know I, I don't mind getting into arguments, and I like to always have my opinion heard, no matter what we're talking about, if it's fishing or baseball or hoops or it doesn't matter to me. But the one thing I don't do is argue with facts. You know, they are what they are. Uh, and that's uh, – but that also has nothing to do with this year. You know, that doesn't have anything to do with the team that we've got right now. Um, so our approach in terms of going down to play one game, um, and if you play well enough, you get to play another one, you know, we're going to take that same approach. And uh, um, so if this is the year that that changes and, you know, Next year at this time, that nobody can say, "Hey, it's never been done before." 
you know, that maybe this is the year. Uh, but in terms of our approach, it's we're going down there to play on Thursday. And if we play well enough, then we'll play on Friday. And the same going forward. Uh, yeah, you know, beyond that, like I said, schedule won't change. Um, our approach won't change. Uh, we do feel like we've got a good team. We feel like we've got depth. When you, when you look at the team, you know, Teddy has played well. Uh, Fife has played good here the last couple of weeks. He's had more minutes and he's played well. Uh, Ted, uh, or Luke, I mean. Uh, so the, the three of those guys up front uh, coming off the bench behind Bennett and behind Clint, those guys have had some good minutes in the last three weeks. And Luke's been productive. Uh, the other two guys have, have played good. Uh, you know, in that backcourt, you know, Spencer and Wyatt, you know, both those guys have played well for us. Uh, you know, Hunt's playing, you know, this is the, the, the most in terms of the opportunity that he's had. And he's played great. You know, our, our team is playing well right now. So we, we've got enough depth and we've got a good enough team to, to win on Thursday night. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the most important thing. You know, can you, do you have a little momentum? Do you have a good enough team? Do you have some depth if somebody tweaks an ankle or you're getting some foul trouble? We've got all that stuff. Uh, it's just it's going to be a hard game Thursday. Our games with Evansville always are, and they're healthy. You know, and then that can put a little shot in the arm, you know, when you finally get your guys back. And you saw that against Southern. So, um, but I don't have any doubts about our team. You know, we, we've got a good team and we got some momentum and we got some depth. So I, uh, um, you know, we'll go down there. And I think we'll, I'm certain we'll give it our best, our best look on Thursday. No. <clears throat> oh, right. Right. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Wish I would have saved them for Thursday. Well, that's kind of what I'm getting yeah. here. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I, I think that's that's one of the more important uh, things this time of year is to not not overthink it. You know, not not try to change a bunch. And we we've gone you know have it being you know eleven times before this one as a head coach and five before that as an assistant. You know, there were times where we. Um, you know, uh, thought we'd be able to get in there and, and uh, um, have a couple things work for us that we hadn't shown yet. And, you know, maybe the maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. But at the most, that's four or five possessions out of 70-plus possessions. And so then what are you going to do the rest of the game? And um, so we've learned, instead of spending a lot of our practice time and our prep time on a, on a bunch of new things at either end of the floor, uh, to just keep pushing what's worked well for us the last three weeks. And so we're going to do that. Now, specific to a couple of those changes, obviously now they've seen them for a game and the adjustments that we made from game one to game two, and they've got some time to work on that. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to see um, how that plays out early on in the basketball game, and we'll, we'll see how we start the game. You know, there's uh, if we start it the way we did at their place or we start it the way we did at our place, you know, which one we go with. You know, we're going to have to see what, uh, what we decide here over the next couple of days. My guess is we'll have to do some of both uh, where, we, where we play them straight, um, here we were switching a lot of screens, uh, so uh, you know we're not going to make a bunch of changes. No. <clears throat> With that being said, knowing Martin the way you do and his team, do you, do you also anticipate that he's not going to try and reinvent the wheel and try oh, to do things right. different? Yeah, no, they they won't. I'd be surprised if they if Marty went there and, and uh, had had a couple things that were totally different. You know, he hasn't changed. Um, now the adjustments that they can make, he's, he's always made great adjustments, but it, it either builds off of or is a part of what they are practicing every day and how they play every day. Uh, so they'll move their guys around. You know, if, if we're switching everything, they're going to they're going to move spots so that Taylor can come off on a different side of the floor. If we're not switching things, they're going to run the normal stuff and get that pinned down, get him that elbow jumper. I mean, that, th the adjustments he makes are great, but they don't. Uh, um, they, at least they haven't. Either end of the floor, you know, made wholesale changes from game to game or going into the Valley, you know, going into the Valley tournament like we are this week. So I don't anticipate any wholesale changes. Just, you know, we're going to play it one of two ways and, and he's going to make his adjustments and then, you know, we're going to have to see who can make some plays. <clears throat> Anybody else? All right, thanks. Have a good week. <clears throat>